I am live. Let me just get me on my other phone. I am low with volume. Let me just fix my phone. We're just going to wait for some people to hop on. Put some of this makeup away from today. Hi, girls. Hello, Christine. How are you? Hi, girlies. Welcome. I'm just thinking about trying these new lashes that I got. I want to try these on tonight. So let me uh, get them out of the box. I hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, thanks, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually still wet. So I'm trying to like tame it, <laughs> somehow tame it back. It's not taming very well though. So I might just wind up having to put it up a little bit just to get it out of my face, do something with it. I don't know because it's not staying. It's being very unmanageable today. Look at it. Whoa. Hello, Belinda. Hey girls, welcome. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? So I'm just taking out these new lashes. These are the Pro Magnetics. Um, I'm going to try these. These are a little extra long lashes. So we're going to try these tonight. And since I'm wearing pink, I'm wearing a pink jumpsuit, actually. Um, I'm going to go with pinks and purples, I think. But what I got to do is I got to do something with this hair because this is just not cutting it right now. So I don't know whether I should put it all up or what, but maybe put some of it up, some of it down. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Marissa. Yeah, well, yes, Crystal, thank you. I'm just debating what to do with this hair of mine. I don't know what to do. So we'll try it like this, okay? We'll just try it, leaving it down. I redid the ends, so they look a little bit more dark purple, if you can see it. Um, before car shopping today. Hello, Miss Penny Lee, how are you? I need product in my hair. What do you mean, Cecile? Cecil. Hi, Christine. Hi, Jennifer. All up. Hey, ladies. How is everybody doing? Hi, Cindy. Hi, Michelle Dorsey. So for right now, I can go and I can pin it all up. We can put it all up if we want. Or should I leave it down? I don't know. We could just throw it all up and kind of like a sort of like a bun thing. No, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> I know, Carol, I know. Isn't that a little strange? I think so too. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I'm just going to be crazy, leaving it down. Screw it. I'm not here to mess with my hair tonight. Um... I might just use a, one of these just to keep it out of my face for a minute. No, don't like that either. <laughs> don't like that either. All right, so there's a lot of new people on here. So I will say hello, welcome to my room. This is my makeup class if it's your first time here. Please say hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What is up with this? <laughs> what is up with this? Maybe I just gotta, I'll do that. Let me get a clip. Let me get a clip. Let me get a clip. 
All right, so we'll do one of these clips, hold on. Just so it's up and out of the way, the rest of it could stay down, that's fine. Okay. Put it in a ponytail. It's too short for a ponytail. And I better tie button this button because we don't want no surprises coming out tonight. I know, Alyssa, I hear you. I hear you. Well, my hair is still actually wet because I just, I just dyed, re dyed just the ends and a little bit of the roots area because I am getting gray. But um, yeah, let's get started. I hope everybody's doing good. I've had no makeup on my face all day today. So it felt good not to have a lot of makeup on. But now it's makeup time. Thank you for sharing, girls. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Angie. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Yeah, I just re re dyed the ends because the ends are that real blonde. So every now, you know, every couple of weeks, I guess I'm going to have to redo it because the ends are getting, you can see it even now, the ends are much more lighter purple than the top of my hair. So I don't know you, Christy, never seen you before, but hello. So, okay, let's get started. We're gonna do a dark look. We're gonna be using purples. We're gonna be using pinks. We're gonna do our brows. Um, I'm using the LA Color Brow Kit. Um, and I've been using it for quite some time. As you can see, I've used a lot of it already, especially in the darker, the darker shade. So, unfortunately, I can't read all the comments. So I'm gonna have to keep going like this to read the comments. So please don't mind if I miss something. Thank you, Rhonda. Hi, Amanda. So let's try and sprinkle out. Um, hopefully we'll get some positive vibes in here tonight. Right, because that's what this is all about, is positivity. Unlike last night, we're gonna have a good time tonight and we're gonna be talking about makeup, tips and tricks as I always do. And first we're gonna do our brows. And like I said, if you wanna really arch out your brows, you really want to come up on an angle and be parallel with the bottom of your brow. So you're gonna make up two parallel lines. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Thank you, Carol, just what I needed to hear. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna bring these brows up and then we're gonna go and bring it down and make the little tail coming down. And for some reason, it does not feel light enough in here to me tonight. I don't know why, but. Hello. Oh, I forgot. Well, no, we could still Dermablade. I forgot all about it though. Thank you for reminding me. Holy crud. Did anybody happen to go get a derma blade? Did anybody go out today and grab a derma blade for derma blading? Anybody? Hello, Vicky. How are you, sweetheart? How are you? So I'm just going to go up like this and we're going to parallel the brows. Same thing as we did on the other side. Anybody that's new that's hopping in, come in, say your name, let me know where you're from. Please share out publicly to public groups. I would appreciate it. We're gonna make the little tail coming down. Hello, Nicole. So I'm just gonna come in here like so, and we're just gonna really, really get these brows nice and tight and sharp. Hello, Lisa Perillo, my paisan. How are you, gorgeous? Thank you for sprinkling. 
So since we had um, a little bit of a problem last night, I'll just say that. Uh, what I decided to do with my girls, we all decided, how am I going to get girls to come into my VIP group and know that they are real? So anybody that gets their share a badge and wants to be in the VIP, the only way that I could do it by protecting myself is you'll have to download Zoom and you will have to go on a Zoom meeting with me just to say, hello, that's it. That's all I need is you to do is go on Zoom. I don't care what you look like. Just go, hi, Diane. That's it. Okay, so I know who you are. So that's the only way that we can ensure a true private VIP group. Hey, my Christine Bond, how are you, beauty? My beautiful soul. Thank you for... Um, Thank you for talking to me today, Christine. I appreciate it. So I hope everybody understands that, that in order for me to keep my VIP room private and with no trolls coming in, I have to do this, at least for now. You know, in the future, it might change. I don't know. But for right now, if you are a sharer, you got your sharer badge, or your top band badge, and you want to come into my VIP, if I don't know you personally, I'm going to have to go on a Zoom meeting with you and just say hello to me so I know that you are who you say you are because it's got to be like that for now. Who resigned? Patty, I'm sorry, babe. You didn't have to resign, though, girl. You didn't have to resign. Just because I resigned doesn't mean anybody on my team had to. Trust me, they they didn't want they didn't want, they wanted me to resign. That's what they were waiting for. But it is what it is. I'm happy now. And like I said, the only thing is, you know, you got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of your emotional health, your physical health, your mental health. And um, it just wasn't worth it for me. It just wasn't worth it for me. Thank you for sharing, girls. Thank you. So like I said, we're going to go with pinks. We're going to go with purples. I got a really gorgeous dark Morphe purple. So I figured I, I'm wearing a pink jumpsuit. I got purple hair. So we might as well go with pinks and purples tonight. So I'm going to show you the dark purple in the one Morphe palette that I'm going to use. I can open it. These Morphe palettes always give me a hard time for some reason. I'm gonna go right in here with this deep purple. This deep purple is gonna be the one that I'm gonna use on my crease, okay? That pretty much matches my hair, I think. So we're gonna use that on my crease. And then we're gonna go in with, um, might go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette, get a little of the, of the light pink. I got all my palettes out. Then I got my huge Morphe palette. And this one has all the pinks and purples in it. This is the brand new palette of Morphe. So I'll probably use a lot of these colors. I'll let you know as we go along. And then we got the Morphe, the Ice Fantasy, which is has a lot of pretty colors in it. Not many pinks, more on the purpley side and the ice shades. So this one I probably won't use tonight. So I'm gonna put these two away. We're gonna use the magnetic lashes tonight, which I hope is gonna be great. Would you quit a job in your, I'm dying, come on, die, and I can't even get this talk to text. What, would you quit a job in your job, pay attention to me? What? Whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. Why are you saying to me, I'm ignoring you and shut the hell up? Rita, wait a minute. What are you talking about? Rita, are you talking to me? Because if you're talking to me, like, I hope you're not telling me to shut the hell up because I don't like that in here.
Yes, we can definitely have a drink together, boo. Rita, what are you talking about? Do you want to like fill me in? Because I can't pay attention and put makeup on at the same time. So I'm sorry if you think I'm ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you. What do you out? My stomach hurts from, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Sorry. Here's to having coffee, girls. Okay, let's go with, we're gonna go with the Morphe palette first, the big one, which has the pinks in it. And we're gonna do the pinks first. First, we're gonna put some eye primer on because I want, you know, Morphe has some fallout. So I definitely have to go and put some eye primer on first. And then I'm going to put a little bit underneath my eyes and on top of my lips. This way, this fallout hopefully won't be so bad. Hey, sugar, shug. Oh, okay, Rita. Okie dokie. All right. Well, you know, pardon me if I'm just a little edgy, you know, I'm sorry if I, if I come off a little edgy tonight, but I don't mean to. All right. So let's see, we got, we're building up in here more than usual. So let's see more people than we usually got in here. Let's go with the pink first. And we're going to go in with this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink. All right, this is a frosty pink. It's out of the Morphe palette. And I'm just going to swoop up some of the color. And I'm going to put it on my eyelid first. So like I said, I'm wearing pink. I got purple hair. So why not go with pink and purple? I'm sorry if I can't read the comments as I'm doing this because I have to look on another screen, girls. So every couple seconds, I'll look down and just say if anybody's saying anything or asking any questions. If you're new in here, please say newbie. Let me know where you're from. Um, the more you sprinkle, the more of a chance of you getting a share a badge. And once you get a share a badge or a top fan badge, then you will be eligible to go into my VIP. And this weekend coming up, I hope as many girls as we can get in my VIP on there because we're gonna be having a flash sale this Saturday, and um, I'm going to be selling a, selling off a lot of things. So, a lot. So, if you want to get in on my VIP page and get in on my flash sale, um, make sure you have your share a badge. Make sure you have your top fan badge. Um, you'll have to come on a Zoom meeting with me very quickly. So, make sure you download the Zoom app on your Play Store or on your um, Play Store or your mm -mm -mm, App Store or your App Store. Sherry, why are you in a bad mood, babe? Zoom is much clearer. I, I agree with you. Hi, Christine. I didn't get to read the rest of our conversation because I had to come on live but um, I will definitely catch up on that as soon as I'm done. But I just figured you'd wanna get filled in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go in with that purple out of the Morphe. Out of the Morphe palette, it's called the Morphe Babe palette. So I'm gonna go in with that gorgeous purple and we're gonna start cutting it into our crease right in here. And we're just gonna start pushing it in to our crease. We got the frosted pink on top of our lid. Now we're going in with the purple. And these are all Morphe palettes I'm using. I don't think I dipped into my Jaclyn Hill yet. So I'm just following the line of my eyebrow. 
and then I'm just gonna come out a little bit this way. Just like we did yesterday, instead of coming up towards my brow, I'm gonna be coming out more this way. And then we'll clean it up later. Shug, I know you, you dummy. <laughs> People being so hateful. Yeah, Sherry, I know. Hey, Winnie Pooh, how are you? Unfortunately, I got to do it that way because you know what? If you're up on the current Facebook, you know, Facebook news and what happened last night, um, that's why I have to make sure you are who you say you are. So if you want to get into my VIP and get into the flash sale this Saturday, where you're going to get deals, really great deals on a lot of products, um, hair care products, makeup, tons of makeup, um, makeup bags, you name it, I'm going to have it. I'm getting rid of a lot of stock that I have. So if you're interested, just get into my VIP. You got to share me out. Just got to keep sharing until you get your badge and have your Zoom app ready because I'm going to have to meet you up on Zoom before I get you into my room. Okay. So I'm just going to go 35 sprinkles. Come on, girls. We can get more than that. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle Dorsey is helping me with my sprinkles. She always helps me out between her and jumps. They're both like help me out, you know, getting everybody to sprinkle, to share out. So I'm just going in here back and forth. And I just wanted again to say thank you for last night, for all of your support and for being on here with me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you know. Okay, so we're gonna go in with Oh, are you kidding me, Patty? Really? That happens to me too. I have to keep changing mine. Um, not really. Well, well, now I can, I guess. I guess I can now because I'm not with Unique anymore. So I guess I can sell whatever I want. Um, but I will tell you that a lot of the stuff that I'm going to sell on my VIP um, is going to be a lot of wigs, hair care products, makeup. And um, since I'm not with Unique anymore, I guess I could sell off all of my Unique products. So if anybody is interested in any of my Unique products, I mean, I'm not going to sell all of it because I do like my Unique. but um, there's definitely no reason why I should have like 25 things of shine wipes and all of that stuff. So, you know, I got like four different palettes of Inconceivable, which is the green, my favorite color. I got a bunch of, um, just a bunch of eyeshadows. I can FaceTime you, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Hello, Miss Gail. Thank you for sprinkling, ladies. I appreciate it. So I'm going to go underneath my eye and we're going to go with a dark purple, a real dark purple. And I'm just going to go underneath here. And I'm going the whole way, all the way tonight. We're going all the way. So if you haven't seen me before, or if you have seen me before, uh, my name is Diane. I am a professional makeup artist available for hire. Um, former green status, elite status presenter with Unique Cosmetics. Um, I'm no longer with Unique. I do use some Unique products. I still love a lot of the products from Unique. Um, but now I am on to bigger and better things. Greener pastures, is that what they say? Right? So all the, um, all the people who have been wishing me luck and all of your kind words, I just want to say thank you. 
I've actually gotten two people that message me that says, listen, are you available? I want you to do my daughter's wedding. I said, well, you know, we'll talk, <laughs> we'll talk. Zoom or FaceTime, it doesn't matter. Share the love for Queen Diane. That's right. If you can share me out publicly, I would greatly appreciate it. So I'm going to go in with this purple and I'm going to go underneath and we're going to just smoke it out a little bit. So I'm just going to come from here and just on the outside part right here, we're just going to smoke it out. And we're going to meet it up with over here and we could just blend this all in together. Same thing with the other side. And we step, definitely got to go in with some black. You know, I'm a black kind of girl. Let me see what everybody's saying. Um, I was up to about, I'm so popular, popular. Um, I was up to about 300 people watching me at one point. So hopefully, you know what? Everything happens for a reason, right? Everything happens for a reason. So if this builds me up, it builds me up. And I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Really super grateful. So Everything is matching. My shirt is matching. My earrings is matching my hair. Oh my God. I have no voice left at all. But um, let's go in and let's get some black added in here because you know I am a black girl and I love making the outside of my eyes really dark. So we're just going to come and make that little triangle right here. Make that little triangle. And then we're just going to go and we're just going to push it in and up and then down. And I'll use the other side to just blend that and just push it in. Okay, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna just make the outside of my eyes a little bit more dark, a little bit more. Frankie is on the couch, Christine. <laughs> oh, really? You never seen it? I've, I've seen it past 50, but you know what? Lately, I haven't been past 50. But I guess with all the haters and everybody that comes on now and watches and doesn't say anything, you know, now I'm going and all of a sudden I'm over 50. But you know what? It is what it is. They want to watch. Anybody's welcome to watch as long as you're respectful in my room. Once you're not respectful, then you're going to be asked to leave. That's it. So let's go in with the black and just make sure that it's all where it needs to be. I'm going to come in here, make a little circle and blow it in towards the crease like so, make the little circle here and push it in to the crease. Hey, Miss Hazel, how are you? Oh, thank you, baby. I just darkened the ends because the ends were getting real light. And I just did redid my roots a little bit. So I didn't want to go and over dye because I don't want to fry my hair out again. So we just, uh, we just went a little bit and I just did where it needed it. And now, you know, tonight I'll do a really deep conditioning treatment on it, which will definitely help it out and keep it nice and healthy. So I'm going in, let's fix this with the pink. Add some more pink on this one. That's right, Karen. Absolutely. Thank you. You know what? People are going to hate and there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it, right? I mean, you can get emotional, you can you can cry like I did, but you're going to you're just going to bounce back. You know what, the true people that are in your life, all of the people that are really, really close to you and that are friends of yours, 
that you know have been watching you for a really long time and supportive of you, they'll always stay with you. The haters, they'll come and go. They'll get bored. They'll move on. They'll do things that they, they'll start bugging somebody else. You know, like they said, they're done with me now. So I'm glad they're done with me because I have moved on. Okay. Not so bad, not so shabby, not so bad. Let me get my black liner so I can go in and do my waterline. I'm gonna come in here and just close my eye and go back and forth, get my waterline going with the black. Now see, I'll be honest with you. I have a black liner, if I can find it really quickly. Let me see if I can find it. It's not a unique liner. Um, it is a, oh, come on, let me find it really quickly, please. It's a pencil. And it works flipping awesome. If I can find it though, I probably can't find it right now because I'm looking for it. God, Zooks. All right, well, I can't find it. But um, it's a black eyeliner. Is that it? No, that's not it either. It's a black eyeliner and it goes on like butter. It goes on twice as soft and twice as smooth as the unique one, honestly. And I forgot the name of it. I got to give you the name of it. Because for some reason, I'm using the black and I'm actually having to push down pretty hard on my eyelid to get the black to come out. It's weird. So I'm going to go and do the top and the bottom, see if it shows up. I mean, it shows up, but it's not really like a lot. You just had to rip out a bunch of knitting. Oh, no. I get panic attacks too, Sherry, babe. Aw, I'm sorry, honey. Listen, I get panic attacks really bad too. I'm on medication for anxiety attacks, panic attacks, whatever you want to call them. And um, you just have to make sure that if you do go on them, that you do not go off of them on your own because they're a controlled substance. And I tried to get myself off of them at one point and I just stopped. And my doctor yelled at me because I almost had a heart attack because my body went into shock, into major withdrawals. You know, it's a controlled substance. So if anything, your body goes into withdrawals from it. And I just thought I was having a heart attack. It was horrible. 83 shares, thank you, Michelle Dorsey. Yeah, this is the Morphe, and I went with the um, with the really deep purple, and then we did purple underneath, and then I went into my bigger Morphe palette, which has all these gorgeous, beautiful, light, light pink colors, and look at all those pretty colors, right? So now I'm just going to, I'm trying to lighten up the bottom part of my lid, so I'm going to try to go in with a little bit more of a, a silvery and see if that'll light me up over here a little bit. We're gonna go and we're gonna add a little bit of sparkle. So I just wanna make sure there's the silver. Okay, the silver looks pretty good. Um, let me see, hold on a second. Oh, bye David, we'll send you to the ocean over by Block Island, you know, and you can you can go and have fun with the crabs over there. Yeah, you can you can send them off to Block Island. That's fine, thank you. Yeah, you probably, somebody probably shared me into the couch, you know, they, they're they into the couch room where they're selling couches or whatever that stupid thing is. Okay, so now let's get some sparkle. Yeah, crabs, right? I wonder where he got the crabs from. I'm going to add some pink. I'm going to just put some pink right in here over this silver right in here. 
And it's just going to be a pink sparkle over the silver halfway across my eye. Let me grab the sparkles. Let me pour the sparkles in here. And I'm just going to grab my little brush. I'm going to pick up some of the pink sparkles. And I'm just going to pop them in. And all I'm doing is pressing it in just to add the pink. And we're just going about up to there, that's it. Same thing with the other side. <laughs> From prison, I don't know what you're talking about, but that sounds funny. What are we talking about from prison? I'm just getting some more of the pink guys, hold on. So there's some more pink. And I'm just gonna dip it in and I'm gonna start from in here and I'm just gonna pat that pink in. Because if you go and you push it across your eye, guess what? It's not gonna stick. So you gotta just pat it in gently. Wherever you don't see it, just pat some more in. Like so. I don't wanna look like I'm sparkling too much. So that's enough of that. I'm just gonna go in and grab a little bit more of the black because I wanna make sure that the outside of my eye, this is black with sparkles. You could see the fallout already. See what I mean with the Morphe, but that's okay. That's all right. We can clean that up. We're just gonna clean this up a little bit, add a little bit more black into the corner. And I'm gonna grab my hot in here. Hold on, let me turn this fan on. Let me turn the fan on. Okay. Woo! It's getting hot in here. Look at what I did to my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay. Jumps! Crabs. They run on sale on Ulta too, but just making sure eBay you're buying from the US. Yes, you gotta be really careful because even eBay and even on, well, Amazon, you know, you're pretty much getting it. Hi, Sierra. I don't, I didn't see anybody call Sierra, but hello, Sierra. I did not say it. Okay, so let me go in and I'm gonna go and just clean up all that fallout under my eye. Clean up my brows, we'll be doing that as well. Hi, Kelly Rose. Okay. So we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna clean up all of that. Look at that. Can you see it? I'm gonna come close. Look at the fallout. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna kind of like try to brush it away. Look, it turns all black on my face. See that? So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean this all up. Clean this side up. Let me get all that black off of this brush. This brush is really good because it holds the color. It usually, you have no problems with a brush like this. So any kind of Morphe brush is great to use. Christine Bond, how's Christine Bond? Look what my mommy made me. You said something about knitting. 
No, she does quilting, I think. Oh, my mommy crochets. She's 80. And I said, Ma, I got a new couch. I want, I want, hi, I want brown to match my couch. So I went to visit her last weekend because it was her 80th surprise birthday party. I had to go, you know, see a few friends and drive around the island and meet a couple of people in Brooklyn, you know, a couple of days. And I had my mother, look what she made, Christine, for this from a couch. So I'm a couch. Christine potato. Bond said, hi, Frankie. Look, you said something about ripping out knitting. Look. Yes, it's a brand. It's, I'm called, a couch it's called Morphe. Christine said, nice job. Yeah. Diane tried to take it right away. Oh, she wow. crochets too, she said. See, look. Oh, my God. Look. Oh. <laughs> look. Oh, God. It's getting very hot. I'm hot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, his mom always crochets something for him. To him. To him. No, I'm only kidding. All right. So now that we clean that up, let's take a look at these new falsies, the magnetic falsies right here. We're gonna put them on. They're a lot longer than the usual falsies that I put on, but we'll see how they last, how they stand up to the other brands that I've been trying. I don't know who Sierra is. Sorry, I don't know what Sierra. All right, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go and put this eyeliner on and it's gonna take, I think they said three coats. So we're gonna do three coats as the directions say. Okay, so there's one coat. Do over there. I can't hear you at all, sorry. A hundred and seven sprinkles. Just call her little red curly top. Yes, Cheryl. Well, not my husband, but boyfriend. Oh, your granddaughter, Sierra. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, so this is the second coat. It's drying fairly quick because I got the fan on, so. Let that dry. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Amanda. You're so sweet. I still look like I'm a pale ghost though. I still look like I'm pale. I gotta do my face. Got to do the face. Think of a color of lipstick, okay? Because I have no clue what color lipstick I'm gonna be using. I wanna make sure that this is dry. Pardon me. Thank you for all of the hearts. Thank you for sprinkling. If you do get your share a badge or your top fan badge tonight, Please let Tia or, or, or Rosie or Jumps know that you just got it and she will get you in the VIP. Just be prepared to do a Zoom, a quick Zoom, just so we know who you are. But we, we gotta know who you are and make sure we know who you are. Hey, Cosma. I know, I know, thank you. I, I You know what? If they're all good people and they're all being nice, then that's awesome. I love having the more the merrier. The more the merrier in the room, right? As long as everybody is nice and kind, that's all I care about. That's all, and, and that you can learn something from me. If you can learn something from me, that's great. I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna fix this right here because I don't like the way that that looks. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one.
And then I'm just going to do one more coat of the eyeliner. I was thinking of getting the lash extensions, but with last, don't you have to go back and they don't last a long, long time, right? Somebody help me out. Cause I don't know, honestly, nothing about lash extensions, extensions. So I don't, I don't profess to know anything about lash extensions. <laughs> Ask me anything about makeup and I'll tell you. You like my natural color, Nikki? Well, I have nothing on right now. Nothing. Nothing, honey. I got nothing, honey. Christine, I know who you are. I know who you are, Chrissy. All right, so let's put on these lashes. Let me get my blue. Let me get my blue um, tweezers. And we're gonna try these out. These are the longer ones now, keep in mind. So hopefully they'll show up really good. All right, let me pull these ones off. These are the faux mink and they're called the dramatic lash. They're called dramatic lashes. All right, here's one. And I think this is, let's see which eye. This is the right eye. So I'm gonna go and put this one on and we're gonna put it right about there. And we're gonna let it go down all the way to there. And I'm just gonna make sure that they are on. And they're on. And we're off. Okay, so there. Yep, they're all attached. They're all there. Let's go with the other one. These are, they just like regular glue falsies, but they're magnetic. The eyeliner is magnetic to the band of the lash. So it's so super easy. It just sticks right on. And then you put the rest of it on and make sure it's attached to the eyeliner, which it is. And then I just go like this and I make sure that they're facing up because you want your lashes all up. And I don't bring my lashes too close to the inner part of my eye. So I like them more on the outside. See right there, that's not attached. So hold on a second because I don't like when it's not attached. There we go. Yep. And that's it. One, two, three, and you've got lashes. You're not going to see them that much because I got a lot of dark, dark eyeshadow on, but would trust me, they're long. They're really long. You'll see them in my selfies. It is, Nikki, I'm telling you, these are so easy to do. A, a, a teenager can do them. As long as you know how to put eyeliner on the upper part of your lid, these are going to stick right to them. I mean, they're going to stick right to them. So I absolutely love them. Love, love, love them. So I'm going to go in with my bottom lashes and I'm going to use the regular Epic. Um, mascara. I don't know where my mirror is. I keep losing my gosh darn mirror. All right, I'll grab this one. And I'm going to come underneath here. I'm going to do the bottom. Now, everybody knows you make a funny face when you're putting on your mascara, right? Everybody knows why? Because it is your brain's protective shield to protect your eyes from anything coming close to it. So you can make a funny face, you try to pull back a little bit, you maybe open your mouth like I do, and that's what happens. So it's your brain telling you, don't let anything come too close to your eye. These ones are called the Allure Lashes. These are Allure. I actually am going in and uh, I'm going to be looking into some 
distributors that do the falsies and see if I can get hooked up maybe with a distributor and get them um, for cheaper. This way I can sell them to you guys. And I, But I, I will only do that if they are really good. If they're cheapy and they don't stick and they don't have enough magnetic on them, like these have six pieces of magnet on them. So that's why they stay on and they don't come off. Everybody's asking me, do they stay? If it's windy outside, will they blow off your face? <laughs> no, they won't blow off your face. I promise. I wear these all day long. I really do. I wear falsies all day. And they don't come off. Really and honestly, they don't. All right, let's clean up these brows a little bit. So right now I'm just using... Uh, it's a liquid concealer by Palladio. You can use any kind of concealer you want, any kind of um, concealer, light eyeshadow, anything like that. I come down a little bit further in here because I like the inside of my eyes being a little bit lighter. It's just a preference. And we're just gonna go back and forth like so. And then in here, I just try to get like a little circle and then I just blend it out. Now I keep going back and forth because I don't want a, just a line. I like it blending. So I'll do like little circles around here. So this way it blends. And if it doesn't blend enough, I'll just go back in with the purple and add a little bit more. But for right now, we're just going back and forth. See how much we can cover with what we got. How much we can blend. I always wipe my brush. And then we do the little circles. Try to blend that purple into that lighter area. Oh, I grabbed my lash. I grabbed my lash. Dang it. I did. Hold on. Look. See, I just took it off. I just took it off. I could put it right back on though. Watch. I'm going to bring it out here and then put it on. And pop it right there. There we go. You know what I think it is? I think it is because I got sparkle on my eyes. And this is not sitting right because the sparkle. because I could see it being jagged, jigga jagged. It's being jigga jagged. So let me continue with this and then we'll fix our lashes. See there's glue right there. Uh, I don't want that glue right there. There you go. All right, let's get this one back on with the tweezers. There we go. Okay. Um, 109 sprinkles. Really? That's awesome, girls. Thank you so much for sprinkling on my page. Let me just go, my eyes are beat red. They look green, right? Don't my eyes look green? I think they look green right now. So like I said, I'm gonna be doing makeup classes. Um, a cut crease, I could do a cut crease tomorrow night. I could do a cut crease tomorrow, that's fine. Okay, there's that, that's that. Let me just put my brushes away. Let's do some contouring really quick. We're also gonna refix our brows because my brows have a lot of eyeshadow on them. So we're definitely gonna fix that up. And here is my new translucent setting powder. I might as well open it because my other one is pretty much down to the last drop. 
So any kind of, you know, this is a chance, this is setting powder. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the contour powder. I don't know, I must have put it somewhere where, gosh dang it. All right, I'll use the old one. You're gonna grab whatever dark color that you have. And usually it's a pressed powder that I use. And I'm gonna go into my brush. Twelve years old she is. All right, top of your ear, corner of your mouth, and bring it all the way up to your temple and around to the top of your head. I'm gonna do it not so heavy, but I wanna make sure that I do it heavy enough that you guys can see it. Around here. Okay, there's that one. This one's a little too light. We'll darken this one up a little bit. If you have a five head and not a four head, you wanna come down more with your contour. The further you come down, the smaller your forehead's gonna appear. We're gonna go from the eyebrow and come straight down like so, along the side of your nose. Same thing with the other side. You want these two lines to stay parallel. And if you're just practicing and you're just starting, you can go very, very light. And you'll be able to see where you need more contour. Like if you have big nostrils, you're gonna to wanna to contour in here because whatever you're using the dark, this contour for, is gonna make everything recede or pull away. The light, which is gonna be the highlighter, that's gonna push everything towards you. So just remember, anything dark, it's gonna recede. Anything light, it's gonna to push towards you. So if you have a really big nose, you're gonna to wanna to use a lot of contour. If you have a very tiny nose, you're gonna to wanna to use more contour. Make sure you go down your neck. Right now I look like a clown, but in about two seconds, it's all gonna to come together. It's all gonna to come together. I'm just blending it all in right now. Okay, and that's all you need. Then you're gonna go into your neon. I have neon eyeliners. It's funny that you say that. I'll, maybe I'll use some neons tomorrow. All right, let's go and do our happy little tree down our nose. I'm gonna add a little to the tip of our nose because I, my nose is kind of small here, but it's long here. So we're gonna do our five little points. One, two, three, four, and five. Your fifth one should come right about here, especially if you wear glasses. You get those little indents over there. So you're gonna start out here. One, two, three, four, and five are your teardrops. Your Cupid's bow, a little on your chin. And then you're gonna make that contour right here, nice and cut straight. And then I can bring it down and color it in here. Like that. Same thing with the other side. Make sure the line is straight. Then you can go and you can color it in coming down. All right. So now you can add a little bit on this side of your nose, a little on this side of your nose, and maybe do like a little triangle. If you feel like you have some dark circles under your eyes that you want to make look better. The wind gusts are about 30 miles an hour right now. <laughs> yeah, you think I should maybe lower this a little bit. Can you hear the fan? Can you hear it? Is it really, really loud? Oh my God, that's so funny. That's so funny. Hold on. I got to move in close up. Uh, that's funny. The wind gusts are just blowing around right now. Thank you for sharing, Robin. Thank you for sprinkling, guys. Anybody new, anybody new to the sharing or the uh, top fan? Any newbies that made it and got their fan badge or their share badge yet? Let me know if you just got it. Congratulations if you got it. 
Congratulations if you got it. Okay, so right here, see what we're doing? We're just going like this and coming down. This and coming down because that's gonna make your cheekbone look like it's cut. Right here and bring it down. See how straight that line is? And that's what you really want. You want that straight line and then you could start blending it. I'm dead how Tia blocked me and never said anything to her. Who blocked? Tia blocked you, Marissa? <laughs> yeah, real. you know what? I miss the snow though. I do, I miss the snow. I miss it. We had some snow though in North Carolina. We did, and it was so nice. It was gone the next day. <laughs> That's the kind of snow I like. As long as it's gone the next day, I'm good. I'm good. Let it go all night long. Look so pretty, right? It looks so pretty. And then bam, the next day it's gone. Thank you very much, Mr. Snowman. What could you use to eliminate the look of bags under your eyes? Go to the dollar store, boo, right here. Right here. It's called Skin Nutrition and it's age defying dark circle and puffiness serum. Or you could, oh, well, you can let her know that to you. That's fine. Um, this is in the Dollar Tree. You can get this for a dollar, put it in your fridge. You can also use Preparation H Cooling Gel. That's what I use. Um, it's not just for hemorrhoids, girls, okay? Just so you know, it's for underneath your eyes to take away the puffiness, the bags, all that stuff. So right now I'm just blending all of this in because I want it to look natural. I don't want it to look like, you know, you got lines all over your face. So I'm just gonna blend this in. No, I don't have any, I didn't put any foundation on. I just did concealer. That's all I did tonight. I didn't put any foundation on. Just some concealer. I don't always have to wear foundation. Concealer, yeah, I use concealer because I do have a couple of spots that I want to and lighten up underneath my eyes. I didn't use any kind of foundation tonight, not at all. Um, and what you can do is if you really don't want to use any foundation and you want to have some color, I always go to the beachfront bronzer. You can go to any bronzer, not just Unique's because I'm not with Unique anymore, so I don't always... I don't have to go and tell you girls, okay, well, make sure you buy the unique product. Go and get it at the dollar store. Go and get whatever you want. It doesn't matter, okay? But it'll give you a nice color overall where you look a little tan. If you are very pale in the wintertime, um, any kind of bronzer is great. You put it all over your face. You can also use the bronzer. Um, and just go onto the, the matte side of it, not the shiny side. And you can also go and do a contour, see? You don't have to use a foundation. You can use a bronzer to just get that area, a little bronzer maybe under your chin, on the tip of your nose, up here on your forehead. Twenty two degrees, oh my God. Thank you, Marissa. So now, since we did our contouring and our highlighting, now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna fix my brows because I hate when you go and you do your brows and then everybody that knows me knows me that, that I'm a brow freak, okay? If you don't do your brows, guess what? Everybody knows if you don't do your brows, you're adding what? Five years to the age of the appearance of your face. So I'm just going in with a brown pencil. This is a brown eyeliner pencil and I'm just darkening my brows on the edge and just giving that tail a really nice look and not putting any in here because I want it to look like it's ombre, okay? Same thing here, I'm not gonna be touching right there. I'm only gonna be coming here, bringing that line out, darkening in over here, make the tail and just darken that in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy girls, right? Not hard to do at all. 
Now, if you want to go and make sure that it's ombre, you're just going to go in and get a spoolie. Any spoolie will do. And you're just going to come in here and go like this and then blend it into the dark. Just do it once. Don't keep going over it because you're going to bring too much dark into this area. 126 sprinkles. Yay. Okay, see, that's it. So you got the light, very light, going into the dark, going into real dark. And that's what you want. Especially if you're looking from the side, you could see the arch. On this side, you could see the arch. It's also going to frame your face just like the contouring does. The contouring is definitely going to frame your face. And the higher up you come on your cheekbones, the higher your cheekbones are going to appear. So even though you're going from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth to start off with, with the contour, I eventually start bringing it up to my temple because I want my cheekbones way up high. Okay. Yeah, you can use eyeliner, anything. I hate liars. Who's lying? Who's lying? What's going on? Who's lying? Did I miss something? I hope everybody's cool tonight. Everybody cool? Everybody's doing good? Wear your scarf and mittens, girls. What if you're missing hair on the lighter part of the inside of your brow? In here, babe? If you're missing hair, you can always go with a brow pencil or a brown eyeshadow, okay? You could just pretend this is brown eyeshadow. And you're just going to take a very thin angled brush like I use for my brows. If I can find it. I just had it. Where did my brush go? Oh, right here. And you're going to get an angled brush that looks like this. See how angled that is? And just dip it into the eyeshadow or the brow palette and just fill in wherever you have light hairs or wherever you're missing some hairs. So you can come in. Let's say you're missing some up here. You're just going to go like that and just fill it right in. Marissa, all it is is just practice. That's all it is. It's just practice. It really is. Are you really, Christine? You got to let me know how that is because you know me. I'm constantly sniffling. Always sniffling, right? Let me know if it works because if it does, I'll be the next one going and I'll let you know. I will definitely let you know. I'm going to go and plump my lips. As I'm plumping my lips, I hope that I'm going to see a ton of hearts. I'm hoping that everybody's going to be sprinkling out publicly, tagging your friends, getting them in here. And I can't talk for about a minute. I'm only going to leave it on for about a minute. So please let me see and show me the love. As many hearts as you can throw at me, thumbs up. I don't care what you do. As long as you do something, share, tag, whatever. Let's get more people in here. And here we go. Okay, so if you've seen, I'm tapping my blush and you always want to go and tap off the excess and you want to start where your contour is and just go right over that contour line 
And then you're gonna start coming up to your apple of your cheek, all the way around and up to the top of your temple, right where your arch of your eye is, right about around this area. And then come right back down to the apple of your cheek. What that's gonna do, it's gonna make your, it's gonna make those cheekbones start coming up really, really high. And you won't have a line between your contour and your blush and your highlighter. That's one thing you don't want to do is have all different lines. Thank you for all the hearts, girls. So a little bit on the tip of your nose, you can put some blush, a little bit on your chinny chin chin. You can go underneath on your contour line of your neck, come down a little bit. Because if you're gonna blush, you're gonna be blushing, not just your face, your whole neck is gonna get flushed as well. So when you're done with that, time for our a la mode. So what I'm gonna use today, since we always use either the powder or the stick, is I'm gonna go in with our a la mode, the Touch a la mode Cream Illuminizer in the color Pearly. This was available with Unique when I first started and it's no longer available. I opened it maybe once and used it because I, was, I didn't want to use it because I loved it so much. You know, when you love something, you don't want to go and overuse it because then you can't get it anymore, right? So this right here, Mr. Frank is sleeping. He's sleeping. He's got to get up at like, I don't know, three o'clock in the morning. So I put a little bit of it on my finger and I'm just gonna go and highlight or illuminize right underneath my eye. And then I'm gonna come here and do like a number seven. So we're just patting it in. I'm gonna come in here into the middle of our temple in the middle of our head and we're just patting it. All right, because when you come close to certain light, you're gonna see it. You don't wanna go and put too much, trust me, because this right here is going to go a long way. You only want to use a little bit. Top, tippity toppity of your cheeks. Down your nose to the tip of your nose. I usually leave a lot on the tip of my nose because that'll make me look like I got a little cute little button nose, even though I don't have a cute little button nose. I got the Italian nose a little on our chin and on our Cupid's bow. And that's it. That's all you use. I mean, this thing should last me forever. It's a highlighter. It's an illuminizer. Now I go back and I use a brush just because I'll go back with my Kabuki brush. I don't want to look like I'm glowing. So too much, too much. So I'll go in where I think I put too much and I'll just pat it in like so. And there you go. So you can see the illuminized. See it when you hit a certain light, especially on the tip of my nose. Yes, it's an illuminizer. There's, there's a difference between a highlighter and an illuminizer. An illuminizer um, does exactly that. It illuminizes your skin. A highlighter is meant to just do certain areas like when I use the powder, the um, a la mode powder, I will just do one line here and one line here. A luminizer, I can blend a little bit more. So that's the difference really between both of them. So now I'm gonna go in with, let's do our lips. I'm gonna go into my Morphe palette and we're gonna kind of figure out what color we're gonna use on our lips. Um, anybody got any ideas? what color I should use on my lips. Oh, really, Sharon? That's so funny. I got the new cheerleaders. Oh, good night, my bonds. Good night, Christine. I hope you had a nice lunch with Gordy today. I hope your lunch was good. I hope you had a great time. A nice pink. Okay, let's line our lips first. Let me find my little lip liner and we'll go with a nice pink. So let me clean this brush up a minute. 
I'm gonna go in with like a dark rose. This, I guess it's like a dark rose, just to light line my lips. There's the bottom, and we're just gonna do the top. We're gonna overline like I usually do. Make your V. And then just follow your natural lip line. It's super easy. Just follow your natural line. And you're gonna come down to the corners of your lips. All right, let's find us a really pretty pink. Um, I'm gonna try to find, sitting pretty, if I can find it really quick. Well to do, well to do, I love my well to do's. Another well to do, Ritzy is red, I think. Oh no, we could do Ritzy, we'll do Ritzy. Ritzy is a pretty pink. So let me put these back. Let's see how ritzy looks on our lips. There is ritzy. And of course I have to do up here. So I'm gonna go and put a little bit right there, a little bit right there. And then we're just gonna blend that in a little bit. Yes, I know, I, I do that a lot. I mix a lot of the lipsticks. A lot of times I'll use two different colors. Isn't that a pretty color? Absolutely. I feel like I'm an Easter egg though. <laughs> I feel like I'm an Easter egg because I'm like all pink and purpled out. The selfie should come out good though. The selfie should come out good because of the, the colors are pretty vibrant. Why do you line darker? Why do I line? Uh, I always line darker. I always do. Like I said, it's just a matter of preference. I can always go back in with my lip brush and I can always just blend it at, blend it in a little bit more. So you don't see it as much, you can do that. Um, and then I'm just gonna go in with, we gotta add a little sparkle to our life. So I'm gonna go in and use some lip sparkle. Oh, uh, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Linda. I don't like the shine in that color. You don't like the shine in that color. What color, Bo? What color are we talking about? Thank you, Pansy. No, Robin, I forgot all about it. I promise I'll do it tomorrow because you got to do it when you have no makeup on. You got to do it when you have no makeup on, the dermaplaning. I'm just going to go and add a little bit lip sparkle. Just in the middle of my lips. And then I'm gonna go and take a little bit and I'm gonna add some right up here. Just to highlight my lips, my eyes, make my eyes look a little bit more open. Oh, you do your lip liner first and then your lipstick. That's what I do. I know, Marissa, I forgot all about it, baby. I'll do it tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> I 
take it off your weight. <laughs> First time watching your live. Love the look. Thank you, Versha. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Tomorrow, remind me. Before we even no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave myself a note that tomorrow, first thing is we're going to dermablade, okay? Because it, it is important to dermablade. I just do it so much that I forgot about doing it today. So um, we will definitely do it tomorrow. I promise, promise, promise we'll do it tomorrow. So let me try taking out my hair, see if this does anything. Let's see if this, we can poof this up a little bit from my pictures. Maybe we could twist this around a little. Yes, everybody welcomes everybody in my room, whether they are a troll or not. We welcome everybody. We always, always, always welcome newbies to the room. Welcome, welcome, uh, welcome, welcome. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Diane. I am on every single night at nine o'clock. I am a professional makeup artist and skincare professional. Um, I am available for weddings and private parties. And the last thing that we are going to do for the night is we are going to go and put our translucent setting powder on. I know, Marissa, thank you. I can't wait to see the pictures either. Can't wait. We'll see how they look. Let me just go in and add some of my banana butter. I love the banana butter. That is my favorite of all setting powders. And I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush, kind of fluffy, not too far out there. You know, kind of stiff, but not too stiff. And I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna make sure that I have product on there and I'm just going to come underneath my eye and come up to my temple. That's the first one. Then the other side, same thing here and up to the temple. Now you're not going to see a lot of it because of this lighting, but I am putting a lot on down my nose, Cupid's bow and on my chin and right up here on your temple, on your temple and your forehead. And you can just pat it on. And then right down here, remember this is the important spot right here. And right here. And that's gonna make your cheeks stand out. Close this up. Oh, thank you, Linda. Loving the oinks and purple. I like the oinks too. <laughs> The oinks, I think you meant pinks, but yes, I love pinks and purples too. But I'm also, like I tell you, I'm also a natural kind of girl. I love neutrals, which we might wind up doing tomorrow. We might do neutrals tomorrow. Okay. So this is the look. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something to make sure that you darken up those brows. Always do your brows, by the way. Um, and experiment, have fun with makeup. You know, it should be fun. It shouldn't be something that you sit down and in the morning when you're getting ready for work, you do the same thing day in, day out. How many of you do your makeup the same way every day? How many of you do it the same way every day? I gotta grab this so I can read. Give me, give me some hearts if you use the same makeup every single day. Let me know, let me know. Oops, that magnet is not sticking right there. That's gonna bother me. That's gonna bother me. That's cause my hair is hitting it. There we go. Oh, uh, thank you, Nikki. Oh, neon tomorrow. Yeah, but I can use neon makeup before First, we're going to dermablade. Then we're going to use neon colors. And then maybe the next day, no, that's, what is today? Tuesday or Wednesday? Friday is Fantasy Friday. So start looking into some pictures for Fantasy Friday for me. Because you know Fantasy Friday, I go out there, way out there. So 
Um, that's annoying me. Ah! That's annoying me. You learn to play well with others. That's always a good thing, Sharon. Today is Wednesday. Thank you, Nicole. Um, I can do like an 80s theme tomorrow with some neon to make it look like an 80s look. Absolutely. I could tease out my hair, make it like, remember stiff stuff? You used to spray the hairspray stiff stuff in your hair. Remember that? It's different. I'm new to this makeup thing. I always used to use neutrals. A lot of people are used to just using neutrals. Listen, nobody wants to go and try like using purples and oranges and yellows. But once you do, it's incredible because it makes your eyes look so different, especially if you have green, hazel, um, blue eyes. Brown eyes are just so gorgeous that you really don't need a lot of makeup on brown eyes because you got those dark almond eyes I love. I love working on clients that have the dark almond eyes, especially weddings. They just look incredible, especially for their pictures. Fun, fun, fun. Flea market fine, stiff stuff. Remember that stiff stuff, right? Oh my God. Let me tell you, it worked. It made your hair go whoop. It could just stiffen it up and leave it wherever you wanted it to go. <laughs> you got blue eyes, Crystal? Aw, oh, Sharon, you always make me smile, baby. Thank you. You're making me smile, but this is right here is not making me smile at all. Look, I just pulled it off, God zooks. Hold on, because I will not take selfies with my mess with my eyeliner looking like a mess. Hold on. Okay, let me just let it dry and I'll throw it back on. That's how easy and quick it is. They're not sticking right now, and I don't want you to get a bad taste in your mouth as far as why they're not sticking. They're not sticking because I used that pink glitter. You have black eyes, Marissa, huh? That's even more beautiful. Black eyes, cat eyes, meow. She's got the cat eyes, meow. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on a minute, because I just took some of this and I made a boo-boo right there. Okay, that's better. Okay, let me grab these. I'm going to put these back on. <laughs> Let me put them back on. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to start them right there. And there they go. They're on. Yay. Yay. See how easy they are? Super, super easy to put them back on. Who's outside your house? A coyote. <clears throat> Don't go outside. There's a coyote outside your house. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sprinkling. I will see you tomorrow. This is the final look. Um, I can't tell you how happy I am that we got a lot of people in here tonight. And um, it's surprising me that a lot of people have decided to go purple with their hair. Yeah, that's been, that's kind of like, I guess purple is the in color. I'm jealous of my husband's eyes. His are light brown and beautiful. Read what you wrote, Shug. Hold on. Lord. Sugar, sugar. Where are you, Shug? Diane, you read what I said? Oh, my God. I got to go back up. Hold on. Sugar, sugar. Where did you even write anything, Sugar? Hold on. Crystal. 80s makeup, Versa Pansy Mackenzie. Same makeup, Mackenzie, every dawn day. I miss that. Mackenzie, if you need help, let me know, babe. Lisa, you do the same thing every day too? 
Lord, girls, we need to get you out of your little, uh, you got to get you out of your box. I can't see anything, Shog, that you wrote. I'm all the way up and I don't see what you wrote. So you're just going to have to re rewrite it, rewrite it, rewrite it. Oh, Dick. Dick, how are you, Dick? Oh, I never had somebody in here named Dick Buck. Dick Buck. Wow, what a name. I make a bet you had fun made fun of at school. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a name I wouldn't want to have growing up in school. Gotta tell you that much. Hmm. Yeah, Marissa, me too. I'm having a deja vu. Pansy handle it, Pansy. Oh, I know it. And Frankie, listen, he called me up earlier and he's like, we got to go to church. It's, it's, it's Palm Sunday. Listen to me. It's Ash Wednesday. And with everything that was going on with me trying to get a car today, we had no time to get to church. Jesus, he, I, I will have to say extra blessings tonight. Absolutely. And extra prayers because I always, always go to Ash Wednesday for, to church. He's gone. Mr. Dick Buckus, Dick Bucks, Dick Bucks, whatever his name was. He's gone. Bye bye. See you later. See you later, alligator. So, anyway, I love you girls. Know how much I love you. Thank you so much for coming in and supporting me. As always, um, I will be here tomorrow night at nine o'clock. We will be doing an 80s look tomorrow night with neon colors, but first, dermablading. I know, Christine. Oh, my God. Yes, I know. I'm going to go to hell. I'm going to go because I didn't go to church. That's so bad of me. It really is bad of me, but. Oh, thank you, Margaret. So I'll take my selfies. I will post them. Let me know what you think as always. Um, I will be here tomorrow at nine o'clock Eastern time as usual. Um, if anybody just got their top fan badge or their share a badge, please make sure you get in touch with um, Jumps, Rosie, or uh, I keep saying Shug. Shug, I should just give you permission. Um, or, or Tia, and we will get you into the VIP because Saturday is a very big day. I am having a major flash sale on Saturday. So a lot of the makeup products will be going butt boy, but you'll be getting them at an extremely discounted price, okay? So I love you. Good night, Crystal. Good night, Robin. Sleep with angels. Marissa, I love you. Wake up with a purpose. You all know my saying. Go to sleep with angels. Wake up with a purpose. And um. Do something kind to somebody tomorrow. Forget about the haters. Love yourself and love others. And it just comes back to you. Whatever you put out in the universe, trust me, it's going to come back tenfold. So if you're kind and you mean it and, you're, and your heart is full of love, you're going to be getting a lot of love back. So no matter what you hear, what you say, you know, Think about things for yourself. Don't always believe what other people say. Um, and that's it. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. God bless you all. Good night.